off our third day in Cape Town, South Africa. And as I made my way downstairs, um, I spotted someone very familiar in the lobby of the hotel. And of course, it was Mama Esther. And I was so excited to see her because for those of you who don't know, Mama Esther is the head manager of a Miss Universe. And she has been doing a phenomenal job. For the whole of my reign, she was the one who was always by my side. She traveled everywhere with me. And it was so nice to see her again because it was my first time being reunited with her since, since I passed my title. I got to give her a really big hug and also say hi to Victor, who was also a security guard for my reign also and for my trips when I was reigning. And it was also the first time that I was able Able to meet Andrea. <laughs> Our reigning Miss Universe for the first time as I um, snuck in a little bit of time between her interviews. So that was really, really lovely. Um, I always get excited to meet a Miss Universe sister because you just have a connection that is very, very special within the sisterhood of being a Miss Universe. And so it was really nice to have a very quick um, catch up and introduction to her. And um, then I was able to, to leave them to, to get back to their interviews and to get on with their day as we had to run over to the venue um, to do interviews. A little bit late because I was finally reunited with Mama E. And I met Andrea, our reigning Miss Universe. It's very short and sweet, but hopefully we can catch up later today. Um, but now we're back off to Grand West to do interviews for the pre-show and then dress rehearsals. So it's going to be a bit of a hectic day, but we love hectic, don't we? Journey with me, Africa. So day three, early morning, we headed back to Grand West. From which countries are you? We're all from the Philippines. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, but we're admiring the view because we've all never been to Cape Town before. Wow. Yeah. How do you like it? Yeah, so far it's gorgeous. Filipinos love this. Yes, we do. We love our karaoke also. <laughs> I hope Jack never gets tired of us singing. Do a a didi dang didi do. But not as friendly as you guys. You sing all day long. <laughs> Did you notice that in the car? Yes. <laughs> and I was going to have the opportunity to interview a few of the key people behind Miss S.A. First, hello. Hello. Good morning. Hi. 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 Yeah. Hi. Um, first being Steph Wheel, which is the CEO of Miss South Africa. I um, got to sit down and talk to her about the protocols that would be followed this year and the meaning of Miss South Africa and what it takes to put up a, an event this grand in times of COVID. This year, the Miss SA finale is broadcast from the Grand Arena at Sun International's Grand West Hotel and Casino in Cape Town. And this year, the production is going to be bigger than ever. And of course, I'm here with Stephanie Wheel, our CEO of Miss SA, and I'm so excited. What can the audience expect for the Miss SA 2021 finale? Oh, Kat, what a wonderful opportunity to be sitting down and chatting to you. But the audience this year are going to be in for a treat. I think it's going to be one of the best shows um, that the country's seen, and hopefully internationally too. Obviously, some incredible entertainment, and of course, We'll see who the next Miss South Africa is. And I understand this is one of the first hybrid events to be carried on since the pandemic. You have both a live audience and an audience watching from home. What precautions have you and the organization made in regards to the COVID-19 pandemic? I think we've been really cautious being the first event of this nature to be live on television and in South Africa in the last 18 months. So 
you know, we've kind of gone above and beyond. Everybody has to be vaccinated, and if not vaccinated, provide a negative PCR test on site. So we're trying to keep this as safe as possible. Stephanie Wheel, the CEO of Miss South Africa, thank you so much for sitting down with me and sharing a little bit what we can expect later tonight. That's a wrap on our first interview with Stephanie, the CEO, and now we're going to do some voiceovers which are already going to be for the pre-show. And then I have my last interview with Werner, who is the creative director in the Semper Dress Rehearsal. And I'm excited because I get to see what the girls are wearing, what the dancers are wearing, and the stage is going to come so live. It's going to be great. Um, and I also got to talk to the creative director, along with the choreographer, the production head. So it actually gave me a really cool insight to all of the people behind the scenes who work so hard to create a successful show like this um, and it really just gave me so much admiration for the work that they do that usually goes unseen and then after that it was time for rehearsals for me i saw zozi and we were able to finally catch up And then also got the opportunity to interview some of the candidates. I mean, like when you come out and you're happy even through your family, I mean, by yeah. all means, acknowledge yeah. them. Yes. But you're selling yourself to the judges. You cool. want to connect with them eye to eye. It's super important. Because I know it's a little bit confusing because sometimes when we're told to walk on stage, you're asked to like look eye line. Oh, that means. But since you're, you're connecting with the judges, they're the ones that your faith in their yes. hands. You yes. want to connect Literally, with them. Literally, yeah. yeah. Futures yes. in their hands. <laughs> yes. So Amazing. just, yeah, look, at, look direct to the judges. Thanks. Don't don't stare them down. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just have a moment with them. Um, if I can give my biggest piece of advice, is that, and, and this is as a fan and also someone who's judged, um, energy speaks louder than a beautiful dress. It and a beautiful, like, face yeah. Yeah. Energy speaks loud, so like, be in yeah. a positive mindset because yeah. people feel that. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know, I was first. like, Mom, do you have the lot like, numbers for me also? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> While you're at it? You, you come as fire and you leave as oh, eyes. Like, wow. Oh, wow. Thank you. My name is Dr. Peshi. Hi, Dr. Peshi. Nice to meet you. Same here. And Would you like a photo? Yeah. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> It's now 8.30? 9. Nine. It's Almost now 9pm and we just wrapped. We did dress rehearsals. I finished everything for the pre-show. Then I did my fitting for the gown by Brittany Mason, who's a South African designer. She so courteously and generously created me this gorgeous gown. We're hosting tomorrow night and I am so grateful because she is amazing. She did my gown for my Miss S.A. judging stint, if you guys remember back in 2019. Give it up for Catriona, ladies and gentlemen. Come on! Yes. Boom! I'm Ms. Napo, guys. Sabao na yung buta ko. Which means it's time to believe and represent in the cloud nine. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow's show day. Tomorrow's D day. See you guys in. Bye. Hi. Welcome to my dressing room. Come in. night for the Miss SA 2021 finale. It's just so much has happened. We filmed the pre-show, we've gone around Cape Town, and we've interviewed contestants, we've interviewed the CEO, the creative director, the choreographer. So I feel like I have 
a lot of knowledge about the inner workings of this pageant and all in all I am so excited the performers the girls just the wardrobe the stage it like makes me very excited it makes me miss competing and I'm super happy to be here as also not just the host of the pre-show but also a backstage host with my Miss Universe sister Zazi I've done my glam <laughs> And this is my red carpet look. Yeah. So we're just waiting when we're gonna go and have our time to shine. Oh my gosh! Hi! Finally! Hi! How are you? I'm good. Have you ever done the carpet? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. I just did. Did you? Not yet. Not yet. Good, good. I love to make up. Did you do it yourself? Oh, nice. Hello, where are you from? I'm Tokyo. Oh, and then my mom. Yeah. You're good. You're good. Hi, how are you? You look gorgeous. Hi, Mama. Hi, how are you? I watch you bow your head each day It's the little things that make you feel this way Don't let their words fill you up with doubt Lift your head and watch your dreams branch out don't you give up now You have made your vows You might not know how But you will find the key Feel your soul arise From that spark in your eyes Watch it come alive This is your destiny excitement, anticipation, but in reality, we were all quite blindsided because earlier that morning, unfortunately, Sam had received news of there being a family emergency and um, he found out and decided that he needed to leave unexpectedly right before I stepped out onto the red carpet. And. You know, I, I put a smile on my face as I stepped out for the cameras and for the show, but my mind was just constantly with Sam and his family. And he left straight away to go to the airport. Don't you give up now. You have made your vows. You might not know how, but you will find the key. into the mechanics of the evening we have the former Miss Universe 2018 Catriona Gray thanks Anneli we're very happy to be here tonight right in the midst of the action backstage the two of us will not only give our audience the front row seat to this exciting event as it unfolds that is so right Zazie and you look Gorgeous! Tonight there will be a number of categories that the selection panel will judge on, including swimwear, evening gown, my favorite, and the all-important Q&A with our esteemed panel. It is going to be a spectacular night. These performances are amazing, guys. I can't wait. The show would not disappoint. I especially look forward to the performances because I was just so impressed last time with the quality of the performances. The singers, the dance, it were just amazing that I knew that this year would be no different. And it wasn't. It was amazing. The children's choir just 
really touched my heart. And I think it's just really wonderful when you see girls who are going after a dream be given such a beautiful, well-organized, well-promoted, and really just great stage to pursue that dream on. The experience backstage hosting, um, it was a lot of fun and it almost keyed me in more to the emotions of the girls backstage. You just see them throughout every stage of the competition. You just see their faces before they compose themselves and step out on stage. So you see the nervousness, you see the anticipation, you see their surprise and I think that's really quite special. So of course, when the winner was announced, Miss South Africa 2021 is La La Lamswana! And the celebration ensued. I had to stay backstage because I was going to be given the chance to interview the first interview of our new Miss South Africa 2021. And I got to have a chat with Lalela, um, wishing her all the best for her Miss Universe journey. And if you could give a message to all of your supporters, your family, oh. your friends. I don't even know where to start. I just, my heart is just filled with so much gratitude. I am so appreciative. Um, thank you guys. Now, I would love to ask you to do something. I would love you to look into the camera okay. and to introduce yourself <laughs> oh. as Miss South Africa. <laughs> 2021. Hello everybody, my name is Lalela. I am your Miss South Africa 2021. <laughs> I'm gonna start crying again. I think it was also an amazing experience to be a backstage host at Miss South Africa because the team that I worked with, the director, the behind the cameraman, Everyone who really helped out from the crew, they were just so wonderful. Like I have nothing but good things to say working with the production team and at Miss SA. And of course my co-host Zazi, we had so much fun and yeah, it was just awesome. And then of course after the show I got the opportunity to finally spend time with other people because all the shooting and all the work was finally finished. I got to chill out with Andrea and Esther, Pia, and, and just catch up with everyone because it's not very often that we all get together, especially in light of the last two years. And it was just the perfect way to cap off the show. My experience in South Africa was such an amazing one. I had so much fun. It was so eventful. We were busy every single day, but in such a good way. Um, I'm so grateful that I was able to see Cape Town, the beauty of Cape Town, to be welcomed with such warmth and to also be a part of the amazing show that was Miss South Africa 2021 and to also just be a part of these girls' journeys. I think that's something that's really, really rewarding because I know and I remember exactly what that felt like and it's just really exciting to see what they'll go on to do with their new platforms um, and with their journeys from here. Loaded with so many memories and experiences, having the opportunity to see so many different sites and meet so many people. I really can't wait to be back to make more memories. On the next episode... But it's very cold. I love you. We packed only summer dresses like these.
journey with 